Thank you for joining me this evening, and uh, we're this is be part four of our new session that we're teaching on uh, what is the one work that Yahuwah requires uh, people as far as to uh, receive salvation. And uh, we've, been, we've been reading from the Gospel of John chapter 6, and uh, the particular verse that, that we started with is in uh, verse 29, where the Messiah, Yahusha, is speaking to his disciples. And they came to him and said, what is the one work that Yahuwah requires of us? And um, his answer to them was, this is the work that Yahuwah requires, that you believe on him whom he has sent. Now, the reason that uh, I'm sharing these things with you is because that uh, I believe that a lot of people um, are confused about salvation. They, they want to add on a lot of things that really uh, aren't in the scriptures as far as what it takes to be a part of Yahuwah's family, to be born again of the Ruach HaKadosh, to experience forgiveness of sins, to, to, to receive eternal life. Now, I'm going to read, skip down to verse um, 32, where the Messiah is speaking again, and he says, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Moses, or Masha, gave you not that bread from heaven, but my Father gives you the true bread from heaven. For the bread of Yahuwah is he which come, come, cometh down from heaven and gives his life unto the world. And they said unto him, Master, evermore give us this life, this bread. And Yahushua said to them, I am the bread of life. <laughs> he that cometh to me shall never hunger, and he that believeth on me shall never thirst. But I say unto you that you also have seen me and believe not. All that the Father gives me shall come to me, and him that comes to me I will in no wise cast out. Now this is a this this verse right here says, All that come to me you know, that that he, uh, he would not cast out. Salvation is for whosoever believeth. You know, that's the great thing about when you, when you understand that salvation is not based upon your good works, it's not based upon uh, the things that you've done in this life as far as, um, you know, how that it, any person, whether they're educated, uneducated, uh, they can simply believe the gospel, they can put their trust in him, the, in the Messiah, and they can receive eternal life, the free gift of eternal life, and of course it's not based upon their performance, it's not based upon um, their good works. Now good works are important, but they're only important for the fact is that you've already received eternal life. You know, you don't, you don't receive eternal life by doing good works, you receive eternal life by receiving the one that has life, as the Messiah just stated here, that he is the bread of life. And he that believeth on me shall never thirst, nor shall he ever hunger. And he said, all that the Father gives me shall come to me, and him that comes to me I will in no wise cast out. <laughs> See, salvation is for everyone, but, it's, but everyone is not a partaker of salvation because everyone does not believe. And belief is important. In fact, it's the most important thing, what you believe. If you don't believe, first of all, that you're a sinner and that you need a Savior, then you're not, you're not going to be coming to, to uh, and calling out to the Messiah to be saved. You have to know and understand through the Scriptures, as it already states in the Word here, that all have sinned and come short of the glory of Yahuwah. We all, because of the fall of Adam, have received that nature that's been passed down from generation to generation, has been passed down to mankind, and we were, as the scripture says in the book of Ephesians, we were by nature children of wrath, but Yahuwah in his mercy has chosen to, uh, has decided to show us mercy to those that believe. But he that believeth not shall be condemned. You know, I want to go back to uh, John chapter 3. And I quoted this uh, earlier in one of our other sessions. But a very familiar verse that you're, you're familiar with is John 3.16. But there's a, there's a few verses after it I want to read. But I want to start by reading verse 16. It says, For Yahuwah so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. 
Now, this belief that it's talking about here, let me just state this right off. Because this is not just a casual, oh, I believe in God, so to speak, that people say. When you talk to them about spiritual things, they'll say, oh, I believe in God. Well, the scripture says the devils also believe and tremble. That doesn't cause you to be saved or be born again because that you, that, or receive eternal life because you believe in, quote, God. Um, it says here for th that whosoever believes in him, believes in him who? The Messiah. Should, should not perish but have everlasting life. Now this belief is not a, a head knowledge type of affirmation that you make. It's a, it's a heart belief. It's, it's where you're, you're, all your emotions, all your focus and your trust is in the, the word of our creator. And you have believed that he is the one that was sent to pay the price for your sin and my sin. And that he was not only uh, died on that, that tree for your, your benefit and my benefit and paid the penalty that was due for our sins, but that he was also raised again for our justification. Because it says here, For Yahuwah, verse 17, so, uh, sent not his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. Yahushua did not come to condemn the world, but he came to save it. But notice what verse 18 says. This is what I really wanted to focus on. It says, He that believes on him is not condemned. <laughs> well, I'm not condemned because I believe on him. I have eternal life. I don't, I'm not going to get eternal life when I die. I have eternal life now abiding in me. In fact, the scripture says that he that believeth uh, on me uh, has passed from death unto life. That's not talking about physical death, even though that's involved in there, but it's talking about spiritual death. It's talking about he that believeth on me uh, has passed, <coughs> notice the words, has already passed from death unto life. In other words, I'm going to do all the dying I'm going to do. Now, I may die physically, but I'm talking about spiritual death. <coughs> I've already passed from death unto life. I've become alive unto him. That's what the scripture says in the book of Ephesians. In chapter 2, verse 1, and you have the, <coughs> excuse me, hath he quickened who were dead in trespasses and sins. We'll pick this up on our next session, so thank you for tuning in, and until then, shalom.